what it really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby, yeah, we're golden They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden Yo, what's up guys, Connor here back on my channel, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you a different video on my channel So in today's video I'll teach you guys how to make a professional profile picture just like this one right here And I'm currently using this picture as my profile picture, so that's a fact So shout out to Sinu, um, I got the idea from him And like, I, show, I saw the video and stuff and I'm right now Um like making the tutorial so without taking further ado let's get started so all you want to do is once you enter photoshop touch go ahead and plus the press the plus sign and then you want to make the size as 500 by 500 and you want to click ok and then after you hit ok all you want to do is you want to click on the plus sign want to go ahead on photo layer and then you could import any picture you want i'm just gonna use this picture as an example so you want to go ahead and resize it and stuff um and yeah so i'm gonna resize it like kind of small and then you want to go ahead and press the check mark so it will look like that you want to go ahead and put the picture like all the way to the bottom and make sure that the empty layer is on top now you want to go ahead and press on the empty layer and you want to go ahead into this option tool right here and you want to go ahead to the circle area and go ahead to the circle selection tool and once you're in the circle selection tool you just want to go ahead and make a circle just as shown so it will show like these lines and stuff so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on the ant sign over here you want to go ahead on fill and stroke and then make sure that it's on stroke, not fill, not noise, not clouds, on stroke. And you want to go ahead and make the width to the number that you want. I'm just going to make it on 12. Then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and press the check mark. And you can also change the color, by the way. So then after that, the line is going to be, of course, here. So you want to go ahead and press on this image option button. You want to go ahead and click on deselect, so it will go. Now you can go ahead and press on the arrow and you can basically transform it and stuff. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just gonna put it in the middle just like that. We'll go ahead and press on the check mark. And then this is the next part. Well, yeah, so once you're, you're in, done with transforming it and everything, make sure that you're still selecting the empty layer of the circle. And you could basically add effects that you would like to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on effects and you can choose any effect you want. So I'm gonna use drop shadow and I'll make it till 90 or 80 or 77 or whatever. And you wanna go ahead and repeat the same process three to four times, just like that. So I'm gonna so I made it three times so it will look like that. You wanna go ahead and press on the plus sign again press on empty layer and then after you press the empty layer make sure that it's selected and it's all the way to the top you want to go ahead and press on the ant sign press on the text area and you could basically add any text you would like i'm going to just use s as my example and you want to go ahead and make the font to it whichever you want i'm just going to use my red pro because it looks cool in my opinion and then you can go ahead and size it just like that you can like size size it like to however you would like it i'm gonna just do it like that and if you would prefer you could pre uh, make the text bold and you could just like you know resize it and stuff so it will look like this then you go ahead and press on the check mark you could also change the color if you would like I'm just gonna use this color as an example and then you once you hit check mark you make sure you're still selecting it and then you press on the FX area and you could add blur or anything I'm gonna just press on drop shadow and I'm gonna repeat the same process three times just like how I did with the circle area and um yeah that's pretty much it and you could also make the background you like if you want to make effects to your black background 
you want to go ahead and select the background and make sure it's all the way to the bottom and you want to go ahead and to FX or any design you would like and then I'm gonna just press on Gaussian blur and as you can see it's blurry but I'm just gonna like reduce the blur a bit so this is how it will look like and this is pretty much how I did the um, profile picture and you can also go ahead and press on the letter you want to go ahead to the amp sign you want to go ahead to fill in stroke and you could basically like um, do whatever effects or anything you will like so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and if you did smash the like button subscribe like and comment for more videos on my channel and yeah that's pretty much it i'm out